my dear student and learner we are going to solve a series of ir spectra problem analysis so today it is our first spectra to do the discussions on a ir spectra analysis so let us start to do the ir spectra analysis so these are the spectral data is given to us so the molecular formula is C3H5NO. Based on a given molecular formula, we first find out HDI. So HDI is equal to 2C plus 2 minus H minus X plus N divided by 2. Based on this formula, I can say 2 into 3 plus 2 plus minus 5 minus x 0 plus 1 divided by 2. If we solve this all, we could get 4 by 2. So, is equal to 2. So, based on this 2, I can say there are a possibility of uh, 1 double bond sorry there is two so i can say two double bond then i can say one triple bond then i can say one cycle and one double bond and there are possibility of a two cycle this is the possibility let us see one by one and try to draw this possible structure. So, if we see here, the first I will make here two double bond structure. So, what are the possibility in case of double bond? I can draw structure like this. In that case, yes, two double bond is there. Now, just we change uh, positions of NO and this all the structure are possible because nitrogen and oxygen has a double bond so there are two possible uh, two double bond are there so another possibility is this one this is another possibility okay then I can draw here also a structure like this way, this is another possibility, then I can draw the structure like a this one changing the positions of a carbonyl group. So, CH2 then just we have to check a number of carbon should not be increased otherwise as well as a degree of unsaturation should uh, match then there is no problem. Then this is possibility. Here also 3 carbon, 2 double bond. Another possibility is, I can say this one. This is another possibility. Now, I change the positions of NH2 and I could get a more structure also. This is also possibility. Then one poor possibility is this one. Then one more possibility is I draw here a carbon so you are not going to be confused. So this is possibility. One more possibility is this one also
these are the a double bond possibility more than that is also possible but i have show you how can you able to draw this if you have not seen uh, my video of hydrogen deficiency index please see that and then try let us try for a triple bond so we make uh, enjoyment with uh, one triple bond because in one triple bond there is a 2d so i can make the structure in this way this is oh so in that case everything is going to be match okay this is ch2 ch3 carbon oh then c triple bond n so there is one du if if you draw, want to draw the structure you can draw like this also ch3 c h2 oh not sorry only h not h2 then c triple bond n so number of hydrogen is going to be matching a 5 now just to be change the positions of uh, oh so i can do like this also this is also one of the possibility okay another possibility is i can draw the structure oh and it's two these are the possibility for the triple bond more than that also possible but i can say this is a most probable structure so here we draw a one ring i will show you here one cycle and one double bond one cycle and one double bond so in case of one cycle and one double bond this is the possibility this is cycle this is possibility another one is this one possibility another one is this is possibility another one is this is possibility so more than that also possible but i have tried here that much only so two cycle it is difficult to draw with available element a two cycle so these are the possibility now we move to the exactly what is the possible structure so identified this following structure one intense band at 3000 cm inverse so in our ir spectra analysis or ir spectral data we had discussed about more than 3000 and one strong band at uh, 1700. One intense band at uh, more than 3000. So, more than 3000 centimeter inverse, I can say this is a sp2 hydrogen and one band that is about uh, 1700. So, there is a possibility of only one bond, nitrogen is also there. So, I can say this is sp2, sp2 carbon. So, here we can draw the structure, these are the possibility, uh, CH2 double bond C, N double bond O, then CH3. This is one of the possibility. Another one is, I can say CH2 double bond CH, then CH2, then N double bond O. Another possibility is, just change in this case also, CH NO double bond CH ch3 this is the possibility these are the three structure are possible so among them i can say 
here a lone pair can be in a resonance in this two case, this one and this one. So most probably the chances of a structure could be this one. All the structure most probably possible, which is most suitable that we have to find uh, based on uh, based on uh, NMR spectra. So hybridization of this field is also uh, sp2. This is also sp2. This is uh, sp3. It's not required sp2. This is also sp2. So sp2 hydrogen. So this is the signal is matching with this one, and this signal is matching with this signal. Okay. So most probably this structure is possible. Here this is very common fragment. So their intensity is not mentioned. This is very common fragment. So their intensity is not mentioned. Let us see for the same formula. Formula is same. Just we have to see a different different signal. So to intense bend above a 3000 centimeter inverse to intense bend to bend that also a intense above the 3000 centimeter and two bands between 1600 and 1700 this is the possibility. So I can say this possible structure whatever we had drawn from that we can find that CH3 CO CH double bond NH. So, we must have to know the concept of hybridizations. If you have not seen a video of hybridization, then please see that. This is sp2, this is sp2, this is also sp2, and this is also sp2. So, I can say we are getting a, a two signal uh, for uh, this one. This is sp2 hydrogen, this is also sp2 hydrogen, sp2 carbon hydrogen and sp2 nitrogen hydrogen. These are given two signal and one for this sp2 sp2 because 1600 and 1700 this is sp2 sp2 because a carbon I like. So one for this one and another is this is also give the same signal. Okay, Let us go ahead. One strong broad band above 3000 centimeter inverse and band at uh, about uh, 2200 centimeter inverse. Very, we are very happy we, uh, because here uh, it is written that a strong a broad band more than 3000 centimeter and this is also one of the important. So when we are getting uh, a, uh, a signal about 2200 centimeter. Uh, this is most possibility of SPSP bonding vibration or stretching and above 3000 and broad signal it is 110 percent is OH is there. So I can say a structure is C triple bond N then C then C OH we have to keep somewhere this is possibility. Okay, another possibility is CH3, CH, OH, C triple bond N. This much possibilities we can say, we cannot confirm which is exactly because for that we need a, a struck, uh, knowledge of NMR without that it is very difficult. So I can say this is, this is due to this one and this is due to this one. What about this one, this OH? I have to change the pen. So this is OH and this OH that is give a broad signal. So this is the possibility. So let us go ahead one intense band at about uh, 3000 centimeter inverse and one strong band about 16300. If you have seen my video of IR then you are very easily identified that near to 16300 most probably the and one strong band which is in the doublet form at about 3400 centimeter inverse. So possibility is this will show that this is NH2. This is show that this is CO of amide. Yes, we are, we are very happy it is going to be match and one intense band we are getting that is uh, uh, more than 3000 centimeter inverse. So, what is the possibility student CH2 double bond 
C H C O and H two. Now we are matching. How it is matching with that? So always this is carbonyl sp2 sp2 so this signal is due to this one this signal doublet we are getting that is also this one and this we are getting uh, not this one but i can say ch double bond c uh, this type of stretching sp2 carbon with a uh, hydrogen this is also giving the stretching for this one so this is my just first video to show you how this ir will help us so based on that we are will continue to understand and discuss about the ir spectra and we we'll learn more spectra this is first i hope we continue with the 10 spectra thank you thanks a lot for continuous watching